yeah. Hey. What's going on, YouTube? Sneaky Scavenger doing a quick video for you guys. And, um, it's actually pretty, it's a new experience for me. Sorry, guys, I've been gone for about a week. <clears throat> had a couple pickups, and I'm gonna try to squeeze them all into tonight. So, if you guys are sub to me, um, you'll have at least five, six new videos to watch. If you guys aren't sub to me, I know what you're waiting for, man. You know what I'm saying? I pick up a lot of shoes. So, uh, if you guys want to see them, sub. You know what I'm saying? Just hit subscribe. It don't cost nothing. It's free. You love free stuff, right? You know what I'm Everybody loves free stuff. Just hit, just hit subscribe. You know what I'm saying? You're going to hurt nobody. But, uh, let's get right to it, guys. Doing a Jordan review. This is actually from a few weeks back. I know. Whatever. I'm a little late. It's the uh, Jordan 2 Retro. Black Infrared 23. Pure Platinum and White. Obviously, guys, it's Jordan 2's. You know what I mean? I like this shoe a lot, man. And, um... I like the colorway. I know a lot of... I mean, I remember years ago, in, uh, I think it was 2004, they, they retro like, with the OG colorways, which I can't wait for them to do again. But, um, I caught the, uh, the Chicago colorway, the, you know, the regular the black, white, and red ones. Um, warm to shit, you know, warm to do everything. Obviously, back then, that's what we did. But, um... Oh man. I think my dog, my dog chewed on this. Yeah, she definitely got to him. Damn. My bad, guys. Um. Yeah, man, this is, you know, if you guys don't know the, the uh, Jordan 2, it's the one just for Tinker. Um. Got onto Jordan Brand and, and started, you know, changing everybody's life. I'm sorry, if you like sneakers, Tinker Hatfield changed your life. If you, don't know, if you don't know who Tinker Hatfield is, yo, and and you like a sneaker, if you like any Jordan, and you don't know who Tinker Hatfield is, just jump off a cliff, you know, jump out, jump out of a plane without a parachute. I don't know what to tell you, it is, you know. But um, guys, give me one quick second, and I'll show you. What I like about this sneaker that was still carried into another sneaker that everybody loves, you know what I mean? Yeah, guys, so I pulled out a few sneakers that um, still I kind of think went into making this shoe um, what it is between the colorways <coughs> and obviously the Infrared 23 come from the Infrared 6 that was featured on there. And I know everybody's call, calling it pink, which you know I'm not gonna argue with you. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure is what um, we're gonna call it. Again, guys, sorry about my uh, my voice and stuff and the way I'm breathing. Um, still getting over a cold. That's why I was off for like a week or so. But um, that's where you know the colors obviously come from that um, shoe, and that seems to be this year's uh, Jordan sneaker um, theme. And that that I get from the six, right? And then from the five, if you guys don't know, this little um, infrared 23 here, here is all um, 3M. And obviously we get that from the 3M on the fives, I'll tweet it on the fives. The splatter, or cement, um, it's coming from the four. Everybody knows that, it's what the fours are famous for, that and the wings. And now the three, right? I'm hoping everybody realizes this and doesn't think that I'm just going nuts. But these are, you know, still DS, but one of the most classic sneakers I've made, right? Black Smith 3s. But uh, the eyelets, the eyelets that are on the 2s, right there. Exact same eyelets on the 3, they're just a little higher. But the exact same setup, you know? Those three eyelets that come above those two. So Tinker definitely used part of the two on this three. And I think that's, that's real dope, man. You know what I mean? Like, um, obviously he's, 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 you know, the, the greatest example of originality and, you know, what, what else is there to say? You know, Tinker Apple is a man. And um, this shoe, uh, I will tell you guys, I went through the size. And if it's great, size 10, wear a size 10. Um, I guess if you have a wider foot, you go up half a size. <clears throat> I love that logo right there too, man. Just not that the Jumpman is bad. It's just like I, know, I guess back then that's what you looked for. 
This is just a badass logo. That's all I gotta say about the Air Jordan 2. This colorway at least. And that's, again, this is just what I grabbed from the shoe and immediately just, you know, oh, you know, that 3M gets, you know, it comes reminds me of the 5. That infrared pink, infrared 23. You know, they're definitely getting that from the 6. Um, the, the cement, you know, it's coming from the 4. The, the eyelets have always, you know, this has obviously always been on the 2. But um, it's always, I've always remembered that being on the 3 and, you know, just, you know, look, look at just sneaker history, man. A lot of shoes, you know, they get one idea from another and, and you know, it seems to repeat itself. But in just different ways, and that's so cool. I just love how this sneaker, in its own way, it's original. And everybody loves this shoe for, you know, everything that it represents. And, you know, Tinker Hatfield's first Jordan model made. And exposing that air unit that we all love so much. You know, thank you, Tinker. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And, um, yo, I'm gonna be real with y'all. I had to buy these on eBay. And I did overpay. And I was one of those guys that waited online. And, you know, I tried. I went out there and I chased the shoe and, you know, whatever. You know, like I said, guys, I'm just a regular guy. And nobody had them. And I was very surprised because twos, I thought nobody was getting them. You know what I mean? I thought nobody wanted the twos. But sure enough, you hype something up enough, and uh, you'll get it. You know, they'll sell it out. Go to Ren. You, know, you, you guys are geniuses for doing that. And I hope that they come back with that real nice Italian um, leather look on it too, with the with the next couple models coming out. You know, I think we're gonna get like another three or four colorways this year, and they they'll, they'll stop making it. You know. Love on it's not bad, it's pretty good quality and it's not it's not the greatest, but and I'm not complaining man. This is this is just I love the model. I love I love old classic shoes that that don't look the same. Like there's no way you can fuse a two with a three or three with a four, a four with a five, you know what I mean? And I just love it because you know the aesthetics of the shoe are different. The one doesn't look like the two, the two doesn't look like the three. But then they grab little things um, about the previous shoe and like nowadays I'm I just feel like some sneakers you know they come out with a with a hyper dunk or a hyper something. I don't even know the names of them that much anymore. But they come out with stuff and it'll just look too relative to the previous model. Or um, they'll add you know a different air unit or something. I don't know. But I just I love old shoes because they always had that their own character, their own um, their own type of what would you call it? I guess uh, their own personality. Every shoe had his own personality. And yeah, man, these are definitely getting worn. Heavy, 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 heavy rotation on these. And thank you guys. I will see you guys pretty soon. Uh, again, if you guys are subbed, you guys are gonna see at least another five, six videos. And if you guys aren't, then you know I don't know why you aren't. So thank you guys. Uh, thanks YouTube. Thanks for tuning in. And I just want to say, I'll see you guys in a few.